All right, Charlie, this one's for you, buddy. So uh, I was trying to describe how my swim platform folds back. This is the this is the swim platform. I'm trying to fold it forward for you. So the the aft rail uh, and the transom all open up to form a walk-through transom and a swim platform. Now my mooring lines are holding it up right now so it's not going to go all the way down but you can see it actually creates creates a set of stairs. Well directly underneath that is this piece of deck tray and that deck tray comes out maybe three feet long, two feet wide roughly and directly underneath that is the what I refer to as the bull gear. It's made by Edson. It's a common piece of, of hardware. Um, you can see that there is a shaft in there and a key there and then as you follow the cables forward the nice thing is that it keeps this stuff easily accessible the bad thing is that as you can see there's a bunch of dirt and crap and it uh it all gets exposed to the elements but underneath there let's see if we can get it to show are the sheaves so those sheaves go into the carbon steel plate that is directly underneath the pedestal, directly underneath the pedestal, held in by the same bolts. So um, if you sight down each cable, you should see that it plays fair into the sheave. If it rides one way or the other, then you'll get a small amount of wear. You'll also get a small amount of uh, noise. And turn this around, the exact same thing happens to the bull gear. So each one of these cables, it's easier to sight from the rear. Each one of these cables should feed fair into the bull gear, as you can see there. So you need to sight a line and make sure that it's square and even. That is, so there's, as with yours, there's a set of uh, rings, brass bushings down there underneath the bull gear. Um, so that single bolt comes out and that would allow the rudder to drop. You need to remove the bull gear and then there's nothing else besides that nut and, and rings that'll hold the bull gear in. If, uh, if you loosen the cables, which you do right here at the quadrant, um, there's actually a nut and bolt, nut and bolt, and uh, those go to pad eyes that run back you can actually see one of the pad eyes down. Oh, that's just the uh, cable stops. But that'll loosen the cables. And then there's also talking about cable tension. You should find these cables are just a, maybe a little bit on the slack side. You should find that you have uh, plus or minus half an inch. That's maybe just right at the margin for how much slack you should have. Um, but if you, if you find that your cables are slack, tighten them up. If, on the other hand, that you want to get the whole whole works apart, you'd loosen up your nuts and bolts. Nuts and bolts, your pad eyes would loosen up, your cables would loosen up, and then you can, uh, you can remove the bull gear. And then you can isolate the noise, find out if it's coming from the, uh, the quadrant. Uh, the three places that you might find noise are directly under here at the sheaves, uh, directly here at the bull gear, and then of course you might also find noise here in the in the pedestal area. So um, I haven't really played with mine off the with the with the top off too much, so I don't know how much how much play there really is, or noise for that matter. I really don't hear too much at all. Now it's not under load. There's no thrust being put on the rudder and no little or no resistance. So um, there you go.